Chapter 46 Thus says the Lord God, The gate of the inner court that faces east shall be shut on the six working days, but on the Sabbath day it shall be opened, and on the day of the new moon it shall be opened. The prince shall enter by the vestibule of the gate from outside, and shall take his stand by the post of the gate. The priest shall offer his burnt offering and his peace offerings, and he shall worship at the threshold of the gate. Then he shall go out, but the gate shall not be shut until evening. The people of the land shall bow down at the entrance of that gate before the Lord on the Sabbaths and on the new moons. The burnt offering that the prince offers to the Lord on the Sabbath day shall be six lambs without blemish and a ram without blemish. And the grain offering with the ram shall be an ephah, and the grain offering with the lambs shall be as much as he is able, together with a hin of oil to each ephah. On the day of the new moon he shall offer a bull from the herd without blemish, and six lambs and a ram, which shall be without blemish. As a grain offering he shall provide an ephah with the bull and an ephah with the ram, and with the lambs as much as he is able, together with a hin of oil to each ephah. When the prince enters, he shall enter by the vestibule of the gate, and he shall go out by the same way. When the people of the land come before the Lord at the appointed feasts, he who enters by the north gate to worship shall go out by the south gate, and he who enters by the south gate shall go out by the north gate. No one shall return by way of the gate by which he entered, but each shall go out straight ahead. When they enter, the prince shall enter with them, and when they go out, he shall go out. At the feasts and the appointed festivals, the grain offering with a young bull shall be an ephah, and with a ram an ephah, and with the lambs as much as one is able to give, together with a hin of oil to an ephah. When the prince provides a freewill offering, either a burnt offering or peace offerings as a freewill offering to the Lord, the gate facing east shall be opened for him. And he shall offer his burnt offering or his peace offerings as he does on the Sabbath day. Then he shall go out, and after he has gone out, the gate shall be shut. You shall provide a lamb, a year old, without blemish, for a burnt offering to the Lord daily. Morning by morning you shall provide it. And you shall provide a grain offering with it morning by morning, one-sixth of an ephah and one-third of a hin of oil to moisten the flour, as a grain offering to the Lord. This is a perpetual statute. Thus the lamb and the meal offering and the oil shall be provided morning by morning for a regular burnt offering. Thus says the Lord God, If the prince makes a gift to any of his sons as his inheritance, it shall belong to his sons. It is their property by inheritance. But if he makes a gift out of his inheritance to one of his servants, it shall be his to the year of liberty. Then it shall revert to the prince. Surely it is his inheritance. It shall belong to his sons. The prince shall not take any of the inheritance of the people, thrusting them out of their property. He shall give his sons their inheritance out of his own property, so that none of my people shall be scattered from his property. Then he brought me through the entrance which was at the side of the gate, to the north row of the holy chambers for the priests, and behold, a place was there at the extreme western end of them. And he said to me, This is the place where the priests shall boil the guilt offering and the sin offering, and where they shall bake the grain offering, in order not to bring them out into the outer court, and so transmit holiness to the people. Then he brought me out to the outer court, and led me around to the four corners of the court. And behold, in each corner of the court there was another court. In the four corners of the court were small courts, forty cubits long and thirty broad. The four were of the same size. On the inside, around each of the four courts, was a row of masonry, with hearths made at the bottom of the rows all around. Then he said to me, These are the kitchens where those who minister at the temple shall boil the sacrifices of the people. Chapter 5 Everyone who believes that Jesus is the Christ has been born of God, and everyone who loves the Father loves whoever has been born of Him. By this we know that we love the children of God when we love God and obey His commandments. For this is the love of God, that we keep His commandments, and His commandments are not burdensome. For everyone who has been born of God overcomes the world, and this is the victory that has overcome the world, our faith. Who is it that overcomes the world except the one who believes that Jesus is the Son of God? This is He who came by water and blood, Jesus Christ, not by the water only, but by the water and the blood. And the Spirit is the one who testifies, because the Spirit is the truth. For there are three that testify, the Spirit and the water and the blood, and these three agree. If we receive the testimony of men, the testimony of God is greater, for this is the testimony of God that He has borne concerning His Son. Whoever believes in the Son of God has the testimony in Himself. Whoever does not believe God has made Him a liar, because he has not believed in the testimony that God has borne concerning his Son. And this is the testimony, that God gave us eternal life, and this life is in his Son. Whoever has the Son has life. 
Whoever does not have the Son of God does not have life. Hello and welcome to Bible Time, Ezekiel chapter 46. Ezekiel received instruction of the rules for the offering to be observed in the new temple in Jerusalem. It records that the rule for the Sabbath and the new moon and the daily offerings. Also the action for the prince, uh, the governor and the people should take in those offerings. Also rule where the prince and the priest and the people are to be placed in the temple. Now, 1 John chapter 5, verse 1 through 12. The evidence of those who are born of God is that they will love God and that they would obey His commandments. Also, those who are born of God would overcome the world because Jesus overcame the world. And also, God gives eternal life and this life in His Son. And whoever believes in the Son of God has life. But he who does not believe in the Son does not have life. And so life comes from Jesus Christ. When we believe Jesus Christ, we are born of God and that we would obey His command and that we would overcome the world by faith in God. So let us overcome the world. Whatever comes in our way, we can come out victoriously because Jesus who is in us will guide us and help us to overcome the world. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your word. We know that we are born by your spirit. We are born of God. Help us to obey your commandments and not only that, but overcome whatever comes in our way in this world for we can come out victoriously. We thank you, Jesus, for the life you give us. We thank you in Jesus' name. Amen.